In this video, we talk about staging your files with Git. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about adding files to our staging index or staging area. So basically we're moving files from our working directory where we're going in, we're editing our files, and then we're going to go ahead and stage them to be committed to our repository. So we stage them here in our staging area. And then when we're ready, we commit them up to our repository. So that's what we're doing in this video, working directory to staging index. And now you might be wondering why we even have this staging area or staging index if we're gonna be just you know moving the files to a repository anyway. Like why have this extra step where we gotta put them over here and we're, then we're just gonna move them up here. So that, that was a question that I had. And basically the reason for that is it allows you to double check things like it's a, a a check of the system like maybe you didn't actually want to move all three files as a commit to your repository like so it gives you a second to be like oh shoot I didn't actually want to move file two to my repository so it's that it's like a check and balance type of system also let's say that you're we're working on all three files and you know two two of the files have to deal with one feature and you want to commit it to your repository separately so you work on this one feature as file one, you stage it then, and then you move it up to your repository via commit. And then you have your other file that was for a whole other feature. You stage that one separately, and then you can go ahead and commit that one separately uh, as a separate commit. So there's a couple reasons right there. Uh, it's to help you, you know, double check what you're doing, and also so you can split up your work if you want to do multiple commits, um, even though you've made, you know, a bunch of changes in your working directory, and you want to keep those changes separate as separate commits. So that's what the staging area is for. Now let's actually go over and stage some files. All right, so here we are in Git Bash, and I want to do a new command here: git status. So git status basically tells us like what is waiting in the staging area and what has changed recently. So it tells us we're on the branch master, which you can also see right here, we're on the master branch. We don't have any commits currently, so there's nothing in our repository to, to look at or do anything with. And then there's nothing to commit. Like we haven't created any files or added any files, so we can't stage them or commit them or anything like that. So we're basically working with a, a blank sheet. Um, and so, Let's go ahead and create a couple files real quick just for demonstration purposes. So let's go ahead and make an index.html and I'll go ahead and make a another one, stylesheet.css and we'll create one third one. So we have three files like the example here. I'll just call it java.js. All right, cool, so we've got three files now. Now let's go ahead and run that git status command again. All right, and so same concept. We're still on the master branch, that hasn't changed. We still haven't committed anything yet, so that hasn't changed, but we do have files that have, are untracked. So basically what it's saying is git doesn't have these files in the repository or in the staging area, but there are files you know, in our working directory, so we could do something here. And it kind of gives us a tip of how to do something. So we can use git add and then file to include in what will be committed. So basically we use git add to move a file to our staging area so that it could be committed. And so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we can do git add index.html. All right, cool. Let's do our git status and see what is up now. So now we have, you know, we're on branch master, no commits but we do have changes to be committed. So now it's telling us we have a file in the staging area. Our index.html file is in the staging area and we could remove it with this command, which we'll do in just a second. And then it also tells us that our other two files are not in the staging area yet. They're untracked, so they're, they're sitting there, not in our staging area. They're still in our working directory. So let's say I wanna go ahead and remove this file from my staging area we can follow the instructions. Git rm for remove, obviously, catched, catched, and then index.html to unstage. So we remove that. Let's go ahead and git status, see what's up. So again, we have three untracked files. 
Now you might be wondering, like if you're adding a bunch of files, like we only have three files here, so typing git add index.html, java.js, and stylesheet.css isn't really that big of a deal to you know add each add those three files, uh, typing it in manually and adding them separately. But if you had like a hundred files you're trying to stage for commit, like that'd be a pain in the butt and you'd probably miss some. So there's like a shortcut, you can do git add period. So if you do git add period, run that real quick and then we'll do our git status to see what's up. We see that um, we the changes to be committed are all the files in our working directory. So basically that git add period moves all the files into our staging area in order to be committed. And of course, if we wanted to go ahead and remove a file, we could use this command right here and so on. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you go ahead and stage files, how you could stage individual files, remove those files, stage all the files. And if you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.